OneNote Class Notebooks allow you to distribute pages quickly to your students in a class or across several classes. In this video, we are going to see how you can do this in five different ways. I'll be showing you these methods within the OneNote desktop app, but the same methods can be used if you're accessing the class notebook via the web browser or within Microsoft Teams. Also, stay until the end to learn what you do if you have by mistake distributed a page to students. The first method could be to use the copy and paste feature. You just need to copy the page in the content library or the teacher only section by right clicking on it and then just opening each individual student notebook and pasting the page into the correct section. This method could be very time consuming with a large class or if you did it for every class that you have made a class notebook for that required that page. A better way could be this second method. This method will allow you to put a copy of the page into every student's notebook in the class with only a few clicks. To do this, you will need to click on the page which you want to distribute to your students. We now need to select the class notebook tab on the top ribbon and then select distribute page. By clicking on the distribute page, you will open the OneNote wizard, which will help you place a copy of the page you have selected into each student's notebook within this class notebook. The wizard will display all the common sections you had created when setting up your students' notebook. Select which section you would like to place the page into and then click distribute. Let's now have a look at what the students will see when they open up their own notebook. Remember to tell your students that if the page doesn't appear, they need to sync their notebook. To do this, they can just right click on the class notebook name and select sync this notebook. We saw in the first method one way of distributing a page using the copy and paste feature. However, there is another way to give an individual or selected individuals a copy of the page. This third method requires you to select a page you want to distribute and then to click on the distribute page in the class notebook tab. Next select the individual distribution option and then select the student or students you wish to give the page to. Now you can select which section in their notebook you want the page to be distributed into and then click distribute. The fourth way to distribute a page could be by creating groups within a class notebook. For example, you may have a mixed ability set and you may want to distribute a stretch and challenge task to certain students who are confident with the current topic whilst the others in the class tackle a different task. To create your group, click on the distribute option in the class notebook tab and select group distribution.
This will display any groups that you have made within your notebook. If you haven't made any, you can do so by clicking New Group. Once you have entered the name for the group, select which students will be in this group and then click Save. You will now see your group or groups. Select which group and then which section you want the page to be distributed to. The last method of distributing a page is one that will save you time and effort. Using the cross distribution option, you can send selected pages to other class notebooks in different classes. This is very useful if you teach multiple classes in the same year group or grade. To do this, click on the distribute option in the class notebook tab and select cross notebook distribution. Next, select which notebooks you would like to send a copy of the page to. On this screen, you will need to select which section to place the page into. However, to be able to do this for multiple class notebooks, you must have the same named section for each class notebook. Only the same named sections between the class notebooks will be displayed. Once you have selected the section, you can then click Distribute and the page will be placed into every student's class notebook in each class. If you have by accident distributed a page into a student's notebook, you can delete the page by clicking on the Delete Page option in the Class Notebook tab. You need to select which section and then the page that you would like to remove. When you press delete, this will confirm the permanent removal of this page. Click on one of the options here to enhance your teaching and learning and don't forget to subscribe to the Teach Me channel for more helpful videos.